Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a biome cube. I've already showed this quite extensively in a video, and the only reason that I'm making this is because you guys have requested it so much that I really just can't ignore it anymore, so I'll show you how to make this thing. But if you do want a better look at it before you build it, uh, check out the card system and the description below for a more full feature length video on this particular build right here. It's very cool. It's very interesting. Uh, the basic premise is that we have a nice big dirt block in the center of all of these different biomes and on every single face of the dirt block we have a livable house with a core in the very center of the actual dirt block as well and you can come up and down. You can travel through the entire place from top to bottom and every single house on every single face of the cube is indeed functional and and typically has something in it as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this tutorial. It's not as hard to build as you might imagine. Sorry for rambling on a little bit, but please do remember to like the video if you do enjoy the build. But without any further ado, why don't I actually show you how to make this awesome mini Minecraft planet, the Biome Cube. So if you want to make it, Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some green hardened clay, some grass block, some sandstone block, some snow, some netherrack, some blue stained glass block, and some water. These are not the only materials that we need to make the biome cube. We will need a lot more, but we will be grabbing those on a side-by-side -side basis. So to make the actual cube, this is all we need. So, grab each one of these materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making mine right about here. So, the biome cube is a sustainable suspended in the air. So you've got to figure out how high you want this thing to go. It can be as high in the air as you like. I'm going to go with, let's say, about 15 blocks in the air. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, if you want yours to be lower to the ground, obviously, just make a shorter row. This fifteenth block is going to be my starting point, so I'm going to destroy everything below this. There we go. So, to begin the biome cube, we want to start off with a row of 13 green hardened clay just in a row going to the right, like sideways. So that'd be the first block. Second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That is a row of thirteen, including the first block. We then want to take the first block and we want to extend it upwards by twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then extend it all the way over to the right and connect it down to that thirteenth block that we placed earlier to form a square. We then want to take the back of each one of the four corners of our square and we want to extend them backwards each by twelve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we want the same for every single other corner. I'm not going to count that out again because I'm very sure that that first row was indeed a row of 12. And we also want to connect these together, so I'm actually going to take this row of 12 and I'm going to use it to form a nice big square shape on the back, which will join to the front and that will form the cube. Hence the name Biome Cube. So we're just going to connect all of these together. It is a 13 by 13 by 13 area. So 13 blocks up, width, and depth. Very simple stuff. Now, once you've got that sorted out, we have to fill in each one of the particular biomes. These can be messed around with, and you could even introduce different biomes than I'm going to add. But I'm going to make the bottom biome. And by the way, the biomes are basically built inside of the empty space of each individual face, and they are built outside. So, like, they're basically, they pop out of the side of the biome cube, like I'm doing now, they pop out of the side of the biome cube, but they sit inside of the empty space of the biome cube. I'm sure that you guys know what I'm talking about, because it's very clear to see what I mean when you actually look at it. And I am going to be filling in the very bottom of the cube. So I'm starting off with the bottom face of the cube. You might have noticed that I'm using blue glass. The reason for this is the bottom of the cube 
Not only is it the ocean biome, hence the blue glass, but it is also the method of transportation in which we will get up to the cube from the ground. Because now that we have filled the base of the bottom of the cube, and we're going to find the four, or we're going to find the center block of the cube. It's quite easy to see where the center is. Like you can kind of just like look at it and see where the center is. And I've kind of like made this plus shape, haven't I? So I'm going to make like a three by three hole in the base of the biome cube. And this is where I'm going to. To place a load of water. I'm going to place water coming out of the bottom of the cube in the 3x3 free free empty space and this is going to create kind of like a cool water effect with the ocean biome. However, this also means that we could, if we want to struggle against the current, we can indeed run to the actual cube itself and we can get transported, albeit very slowly, into the base of the cube. So, it's nice and safe, and as long as you keep it light, it shouldn't come under attack. But kinda. So, anyway, that is the base of the cube, that is the ocean biome. Now, the front of the cube is going to be snow, so I'm going to make it snow. I'm going to have a layer of snow that sits again, guys. Remember, it's outside of the area of space that is empty on the particular side. However, it fills up the space and it just pops out like this to give a cool effect. The front is going to be snow. The left-hand side, I'm going to make a desert. You can't use sand, unfortunately, unless there's a way to do it. Um, sand is affected by gravity, or gravity affects sand, so it falls, hence why we have to use sandstone. Still looks good though. The right hand side of the biome cube, I'm kind of making like a jungly biome. This effect can either be achieved with dirt, pods all, grass blocks like I'm using, or you could even use green clay or, or, or uh, lime green clay, it's kind of up to you. You could even use wool. The back of the biome cube, I am making never. So I'm going to make the back of the biome cube never. There's going to be an awesome never castle on the back of the biome cube. And that is why we are going to be placing never rack on the entire back of the cube. Those are the sides. Well, the side sides. The top of the biome cube is also going to be grass. This is kind of going to be like a normal plains. This is just going to be like... But like most of Minecraft, it's kind of like just the plains where you'd see like trees and grass and flowers and stuff. It's not like a forest or a jungle or anything like that. It's quite simply grass. Now, we've laid the foundation for each particular side of the cube. We now have to fill them in completely with our material of choice. This I'm going to do off recording, but... I'm going to be back in a second, and I hope that you guys will do the same. Fill in each individual side of the biome cube with the biome material that you want to use. Then we can begin adding more details to the cube. So, the front is snow, I'll do the same to every single other side. Okay, so you might be able to see that I have now filled in each side of the biome cube with the respective material that we outlined each face with. Now, if you're still working on that, feel free to pause the video here and once you've done that you can then hit play once you've finished and you can continue on with the rest of us just pause now if you are still working on it and you'll be fine so once you've filled in every single face we can now add detail to each individual side of the cube in an order that we fancy so i'm going to fill in the top of the cube first of all this is the plains area and to decorate this, I'm going to need some oak wood, some oak wood blanks, some spruce wood stairs, oak wood stairs, oak wood doors, oak wood fence, grass blocks, wooden trap doors, poppies. I'll also need glass pane, stone slabs, water buckets, glass block, pods or oak saplings, and bone meal. These are the only materials that I'll hopefully be needing. So, on the top of this, and none of these measurements have to be precise, you can mess about with this as you like, on top of this we're going to have a house. I'm going to come to the top, the back left hand corner of this area, and I'm going to come to this corner block, and I'm going to count into say like, uh, the f the f like the f second diagonal coming in, so... Like, this is the first diagonal, second diagonal. This is where I'm going to build the house. I'm going to start off by placing an oak wood on the ground. I'm going to extend that oak wood forwards by two with the planks. One, two. I'm going to place another oak wood. I'm going to place a door going right of that. Then on the ground, I'm going to place an oak wood. Then an oak wood going right of that. 
Then I'm going to place two planks coming backwards, an oak wood, then two planks connecting back. So I want to have something which should look like this. This is the foundation for a house. I'm going to place grass blocks in front of the left hand side and right hand side oak wood planks. These will be planters. I'm also going to place oak wood fence left and right of the grass, connecting to the oak woods. I'm also going to extend up every single oak wood that we have here, and I'm going to place two additional ones on top. So that'll be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The back I'm going to make as high as everywhere else by filling it in with oak wood planks. The front I'm going to place oak wood planks around the door, making everywhere as high. However, on the sides, I'm going to use glass pane, and I'm going to fill in the sides left and right with glass pane, and I'm going to connect the oak wood front to back in a fashion such as this. Perfect. Now, I'm going to then start the roof. The roof is going to be made out of spruce wood stairs and it'll start just above the windows. It'll also overhang the front and back of the house by one row and the center of the roof will be made out of oak wood stairs. I'm just realizing that I'm also going to place an additional layer of oak wood planks on the front and the back part of the house because that'll allow us to then place a row of spruce wood stairs right at the very top side of the house and this'll allow us to complete the roof. It's a very, very simple roof. The edges are made out of spruce wood stairs like this, as you can see. Very, very simple. It's just spruce wood stairs like this coming down on the front and back part of the house that overhangs like this. Boom. 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 We're even going to have upside down spruce wood stairs underneath the overhanging set of stairs like this. We're going to make sure that it's all overhanging and all very nice, like that. And we're also going to then grab some flowers, some trap doors. We're even going to get stone slabs, water buckets, glass block, pods are, oak saplings, bone meal. Uh, we're going to place some poppies on the side of the house with wooden trap doors on the side of the grass. We're going to connect the oak wood fence upwards to the roof. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. On the opposite side here, we'll place oak wood here. And then we'll place like wooden trap doors and then poppies on top. Then we're going to create a nice little pond here in the front right hand corner of the area of the actual like planes. I'm just going to dig a random shape into the ground like that. And I'm going to place glass underneath it, under, directly underneath the shape. And this will mean that any water that we add will not just flow directly into the biome cube because that is not what we're after. So we're just going to place a glass bottom to this, like that. We're going to then place some water inside of this. Looking quite nice if I say so myself. Going to destroy a little bit of the area around the top of the biome cube and place a little bit of pods on. Maybe even uh, some poppies here and there just to kind of like make it look a little bit nicer. And I'm going to place a tree directly to the right of the house. And I know that this is a long shot, but I'm hoping the tree is higher than the house itself. I think if I'm if I if I place it like this, then we get a pre. Uh, that's a tiny tree. If you want, you can edit the tree. It's preferable that the tree is indeed higher than the house itself. I wish, I'd, I'm sure there's a trick to get big trees every time. I just don't know it. it. It'd be cool if you added your own custom tree or you made it a lot higher than the house. Later on, we'll do the interior for the house and we'll also connect it down to the cube. But that is the planes. That is the top of the biome cube. Very easy. I hope that you guys found that very simple to do. Next, we'll be tackling the snow biome. Let me grab the stuff we'll need. So to make the snow biome, we'll need some snow, as you might have guessed, dark oak wood planks, red hardened clay, ice, packed ice, web, and some varieties of like red stained glass, yellow stained glass, light grey stained glass. We're going to try and use them to create a little bit of a cool fire effect. We might fail. So grab all of these and head to your snow biome. You want to find the very bottom center block at the bottom of your snow biome. It should be this one. Again, I mean, it's kind of easy enough to just like eyeball it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this block. Above this block, we want to place a snow. And we want to place snow to the left and right of it. We want to take the right hand snow in this row of three. And we want to do two upright diagonals. One, two. Then go up by one. Then do two upper left diagonals. One, 
two, move up by one. Then we want to leave a gap of one going left and place a snow. Come down by one, do two bottom left diagonals, one, two, down one, bottom right diagonal, like that. We then want to add another layer of snow directly on top of this, as you can see me doing right here. Just add another layer of snow, like this. We then want to add a layer of snow above and inside what we've just had, what we've just made. So we kind of want to create this sort of shape. It's a little bit tricky to explain, but you guys will be able to see kind of like the genesis of this and what it's supposed to look like once I've finished. There we go. So you can see we've kind of went inside and above the shape that we've just made. And then you want to finish this off by doing the same thing again. And you should just be placing like a, a normal rectangular shape like this. You can even take the very top center block, extend it outwards by one. It will give you a bit better igloo shape. Then we're going to place in the upper left hand corner of this place. We're going to place like a, a red hardened clay. Kind of like in oh, which position? This position will be fine. We're going to place a dark oak wood plank surrounding the clay. We're going to place a little bit of red stained glass pane coming out of the red hardened clay and we don't want it to connect. And we're also going to place some like yellow as well, kind of like this. We're also going to place a little bit of sparsely placed like grey. Uh, grey's not really working. We'll forget the grey, but what we will do is we will then add some web coming out of the top of that, and that will create, or surrounding it. Uh, what we're basically looking for, guys, with this is a little bit of a flame effect, or a bit of a smoky effect. So, something like that. Uh, you might be better off simply just using web, honestly. But, um, it, that's not a bad effect. I think it's alright. Out the front of the igloo. We're going to destroy the ground a bit and we're going to place a little bit of packed ice because that is kind of representative of people walking around the igloo. And everywhere else, we're just going to destroy the snow a little bit, kind of around each one of the four corners, sort of, sort of around the igloo like this. And we're just going to destroy the snow and we're going to place some regular ice there. And then that'll actually be a pretty nice snow biome. There's not that much that you can do here, honestly. Once the igloo's placed, it takes up quite a bit of space. And uh, that's pretty much all we're going to be working with. But that looks really good, if you ask me. Which I did. And uh, I hope that you guys like that. But yeah, guys, that's, that's the snow biome. Next one that we're going to do, I think that we'll do the... Yeah, we'll do the forest biome. So, or the jungle biome. We'll make it a jungle tree. So, next here is going to be the jungle biome. I'll get rid of all of this, and I'll get all the stuff we'll need. So, to make the jungle biome, you'll want some jungle wood, jungle leaves, vines, if we can place them. It might not let us, and it might also look weird. Um, lime hardened clay, green hardened clay, and some pods are. So, once you have each one of these, we're going to place a tree. It's just going to be a tree. It's basically a tree house on this particular side. So we're going to find the very center of this particular side of the biome cube. So it's going to be about here. I actually think that I've got it dead on. I think that's the very center of the biome cube. Again, I mean, it's something that you can kind of just kind of look at and know, hey, that's the center. So that's the center, right? We're going to build up the husk of a tree around this. It's going to be a pretty decent sized house. So we actually want to have a fairly large tree in the center of this. So something about as big as this area is what we're going to start off with the tree. I can't really give you precise measurements because the tree that I have made is very, very simple, actually. It's actually a bit smaller than this. It actually, it's about, about as big as this. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of like the outline of the tree that I have on mine. Uh, I'm going to build up the actual trunk of the tree a little bit. So if you want to start off with a shape like this, then feel free to. We're also going to, kind of like with the igloo, we're just going to place some jungle wood around in this sort of fashion like this that is going to allow us to shape the tree a bit better. As you can see, it's kind of like a mini igloo, but made out of wood. The tree obviously has to be kind of tall, so here is where we're going to start adding a couple of randomly placed jungle woods here. D I know that this is a really bad tutorial, guys, this particular part, but kind of just add wood in places that you would expect to see 
like in a real tree if that makes sense so kind of like just add a load of roots everywhere kind of like build the top of the tree and don't be afraid to come a little bit far out of the biome cube it doesn't have to be perfect but we're just building kind of like the husk of the tree then we can just decorate the top of the tree it doesn't have to look perfect it can look a little bit weird honestly because it's you know it's kind of difficult to build a tree house coming out the side but we can then fill the top of this in using jungle leaves we can make a nice big um like leafy area which is going to really help cover up any sort of weird abnormalities that we have with the actual wooden part of this so if we have kind of like a nice big bubble shaped area using the leaves maybe even make it a little bit more expansive and especially on the front we can do a similar thing here like this we can make it look a little bit bigger like that that's perfect and we also want to have an entrance to this tree we would theoretically want to be able to enter the tree so make sure that you actually have enough area like a two by two space area here um, inside of the tree like this and you might find it useful to also come inside and kind of like dig out all of the empty space that uh, would allow you to actually enter and leave the actual house so I mean this isn't actually looking too bad to be honest with you that's not that bad of a looking tree house I mean we can destroy uh, we can't destroy those blocks those are kind of necessary but we can destroy a couple of blocks here and there that make it look a little bit more tree like we can even add some like lime hardened clay to the base of the tree like this and maybe even a little bit of uh, green hardened clay because we do have to make it look as though it's like a jungle biome um, we can even add vines to the tree, add them in places that they are not going to like overhang and hang down, if that makes sense. Like you don't want them growing all the way down to the ground, that would look a little bit weird, but you can absolutely add some on the side to detract the eye from your weird looking tree. We can even once again like add more leaves to the tree to make it look a bit more tree like, but this is a very very difficult considering the fact that of course we're building it sideways. But that doesn't look too bad I don't think. We can even destroy that block there just to make it look a little bit uneven. And we can even destroy a little bit of the ground and that's a lot. That's that I've just destroyed a lot of the ground there, but you know whatever. Ah, uh, pods all doesn't work, stupid me, but I'll tell you what would work. Brown hardened clay would work just as well as pods are in kind of like just digging into the ground like this and making it look as though people actually inhabit the side of this awesome biome cube. So just destroy a few blocks here and there. You don't have to go absolutely mental, but you can destroy a few blocks here and there to make it look as though people use the side of this. And of course, if you like, you can even like destroy this, this and replace that with grass but there you go guys that is the forest side of the biome cube and just while we're at it if you enter the igloo and if you come inside the igloo and destroy every single block here inside of the igloo that would allow you to see outwards that's a mistake that i wish that i wouldn't have made i think it'd be cool if we could like actually see into the center of the cube from both the igloo and the jungle house and we'll do the same later on to the house on the top although that is quite special so guys that is the snow biome the jungle biome and the uh, the plains biome complete. Let's move on to now the desert biome. Very easy side to do. I'm going to get rid of everything that I have and then I'll show you what you need to make the desert. So for the desert biome, we need some sandstone block, sandstone stairs, dark oak planks, birchwood fence, red hardened clay, green wool, lime wool, and some orange stained glass block. Begin the build by starting from the very bottom right hand corner of the desert biome here and count upwards leftwards diagonally by three. So that'll be one, two, three. Place a sandstone block. Then place two on top. One, two, like that. We then want to place going left of this, the bottom sandstone block, we want to place a row of four sandstone block coming left. So one, two, three, four. Take that fourth block and place two on top of it. One, two. Take the first block and place a row of four sandstone coming upwards. One, two, three, four. Place two on top. One, two. Take the bottom block, go right of it by three or by four rather. One, two, three, four. And place two on top. One, two, like this. And that is kind of like the base of the, sa uh, the, base of the sandstone castle. 
What we then want to do is we want to kind of like fill the roof of this thing in using dark oak wood planks. So you kind of want to fill the top of this thing in using dark oak wood planks like this in a three by three square, like so. We want to fill the bottom wall in using sandstone block and the top wall in also using sandstone block. And you know what, we'll even fill the back wall in using sandstone block as well. The front is different. The front, we want to, basically, it's kind of tricky, we want to take the rows of dark oak wood plank and we want to take the bottom row, connect it to the right, and the top row, connect it to the right. Fill in the center of this using orange glass. We then want to place sandstone stairs in this position and in this position, like this, so they're kind of almost meeting in the middle around the entrance. We then want to place a sandcastle effect going around the top of this. So we'll do this on the front and the back. On the front, we want to place sandstone like this. This is, it's kind of tricky to, um, to uh, kind of like explain, but you kind of want to use your sandstone block in this sort of fashion, if that makes sense. We kind of want to create a nice sandcastle effect by using back-to-back -back sandstone stairs like this on both the front and the back. You can't do it on the sides, or you can't do it very well on the sides, I should say. Uh, the best that you can do if you do want the sort of effect is you can use like um, sandstone slab, like this, and you can have it poke out, although it's not the same. Or, I mean, you could, I mean, rarely you could use the sandstone stairs like this at the top and the bottom, but I don't quite like the effect. I actually like the sandstone slab a little bit better, actually. But yeah, that's kind of like the base structure. Then we're going to place two birchwood fence coming out of the very center of the roof. One, two, like this. Then we're going to place a red hardened clay coming outwards from that. Then we're going to extend the clay upwards by two. One, two, and the center block outwards by one. So we want to have something which should look like this. Then we're going to create cacti around the place, and to do that we're just going to use some lime wool, and we're going to place a couple of bigger lime wool in places, we're going to place a couple of smaller lime wool in places, and these will hopefully look like cacti, and uh, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it, to be honest. If you want to make them look maybe kind of like a little bit more like cacti, maybe place some buttons going around them, I don't know if that will make them look less or more like it, but I'm kind of liking the effect, to be honest, I think that that kind of looks good. Uh, unfortunately, you might be wondering, why don't you just place cacti? Uh, you can't place them sideways, sadly, you can only place them coming upwards, so... Or, to my knowledge, I might just eat my words there, but I think you can only place them sideways like that. But, it's a cool effect. Hopefully you guys like that. That is the desert biome. Uh, if you like, you can also break into the inside of this, and you can kind of, like, dig out the center blocks used for the inside, and then replace any blocks that you may have destroyed to gain access to the actual inside this thing, and then just uh, kind of, like, seal up the hole that you've just made. So, something like that. And now you'll actually have access to the inside of that. Now, we have one last phase to go. The Never Biome. Let me grab everything that we'll need. So for the Nether Biome, we need some Nether Brick, Nether Brick Stairs, Nether Brick Fence, Stone Bricks, Red Stained Glass, Orange Stained Glass, Yellow, some Lava, and some Magma. I might even grab a couple more materials if I'm feeling it later as well. So... To begin, we're going to want to start off with the very bottom left-hand corner of the nether biome, right here. And we're going to want to move into the right by two. One, two. And then up by one. Place your first nether brick. Go right of that by one. Do an upright diagonal, go up by one. Up left diagonal, left by one. Bottom left diagonal, down by one. Like that. Then, take the bottom right hand, never brick, which is here on the right hand side, and extend this to the right by two. One, two. Then, do a bottom right diagonal. Right one, up right diagonal, up one, up left diagonal, left one, bottom left diagonal. Like this. We then want to take the top right hand corner block of never brick, and we want to extend it upwards by two. One, two. Then, do an upright diagonal. Up one, up left diagonal, left one, bottom left diagonal, down one, 
bottom right diagonal. We want to do a similar thing on the left. Take the upper left hand corner never brick on the opposite side and go up by two, one, two, then go right by one, up right diagonal, up one, up left diagonal, left one, bottom left diagonal, down one. To give this sort of pattern right here. You can even connect the front together if you so wish in the similar way that we did at the bottom. It kind of looks like a flower shape, doesn't it? Well, anyway, this flower shape, we're going to want to add two additional layers of never brick on top of on top of everything, basically. So, like, actually, no, not on top of everything. So, you see these circular bits, yeah? We want to add two rows on top of this. So, one row, two rows. So, the circular bits are each four corners of the Never Fortress, the Never Castle, whatever you want to call it. We're adding simply two layers of Never Brick on top. Everywhere else, we're going to add a lesser amount. This is because we're going to be placing stuff like fence and stuff on top of walls. And it will just look a little bit better this way. So just add your layers of Never Brick like this, and you'll have a pretty beefy looking castle. Then you can place, you could even place like stone bricks on top of all of the other remaining never bricks like this that join everything together and then place like a never brick fence in between them. So you could have something that looked like that. So you could have this sort of effect if you wanted to or you could simply have just the stone. And then we're going to be placing a layer of stone here, so we're going to be placing a layer of stone at the very top center part of the castle. It kind of looks like a circle, like this. So we kind of want to have this sort of shape that is like the top here. And then we're going to place, and this is so tricky, guys. I, I really wish this wasn't uh, wasn't as tricky as it is. We're going to kind of like do the sandcastle effect around the top of the towers. So kind of like we did with the sand area, we're going to have kind of like the sandcastle effect around the top of the towers like this, just to give them a little bit more shape. So it's basically back to back stairs for the sides, and it's like upside down stairs for the tops. Again, just to, just to keep repeating myself, is just to give it a bit better shape. It's, it's just to make it look a little bit better. If you don't want to add this, you don't have to. As well, I guess you don't have to add anything if you don't have to. That's kind of the whole point, but you guys get what I'm talking about. Uh, it gives it a bit of a cooler shape like that. Uh, you can even add like another never brick fence if you like to kind of like make this uh, like even at the top like this. And um, what we're also going to do is I'm going to take like the uh, plus shape or the circular shape of the stone bricks here and I'm actually going to turn it into a plus shape. I'm going to extend it out by one row and I'm going to add kind of like a fire effect in that I'm going to place some like red glass kind of like around this. I'm going to place some red glass and some orange glass in some places as well and I'm going to place some yellow glass also, just to kind of like, I don't know, just to get kind of like a flame effect, kind of like a brazier. What I also want to do, and this is, you got to be kind of quick with this, is that I'm going to add some lava to the top of the spires. So, the lava is going to be sealed in here into the top of the spires. So, it's going to be sealed in and we're going to be using orange glass like this. So, we're going to place some orange glass in the top of the spires like this. And we're going to be placing some lava directly behind them. So, like, some lava in this position right here. That's that's a bad position, actually. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, just behind that, though. Hang on. Wait for the lava to dissipate. Yeah, kind of like there. Um, the row behind that. Why are you not disappearing? Hang on. Go on. You'll go. Okay, so behind the glass, I actually want to place the lava. I, I kind of goofed there a little bit. So we have like the wall of lava behind, but we don't have any of the bad bits about the lava. So it can't go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere because we've glassed the top of this. But it looks light. It looks cool. I've placed it in the wrong place again. Um, it looks light, it looks cool, it adds a nice effect to the place. Um, it's, I mean, what else, what else should I tell you? Why, why are you still flowing down? Where are you going? Is there a source block there? Oh, that's, okay. 
No? Okay, good. Uh, lava's so tricky. Lava's worse than water because obviously it burns and it gets in your eyes and stuff. But I'm just going to place some orange stained glass at the top of this. And that that's like your really cool mini never fortress. And if you like, you can even top this area off by adding a couple of um, molten blocks around the place. You might even want to create an entrance to your castle, like have these two um, spaces open, and you could even place like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of stone brickwork, and maybe even a little bit of never brick fence, kind of like surrounding the gate area, just to make it a little bit more castle-y. But, that is the nether area pretty much taken care of. Um, I am going to break into the nether castle now. I'm going to come into the center of this now. And I'm just going to destroy every single block like I did on every other side. And this will gain me a bit better access to the actual area itself. So, that ladies and gentlemen, let me work my way out here. That ladies and gentlemen is the last side of the Never. Like, that's the last side of the biome cube. We've done all of them now. The last bit of detail that we're going to be adding involves the inside of the cube. So I'm going to get rid of everything, and I'm going to come inside the cube here. And the first thing that I'm going to take care of, actually, is... All the way up at the top of the biome cube, we have a house, don't we? So, it might be better if we start up here. Inside of the house is going to be a walkway in which we can follow down into the center of the cube and this connects the top of the cube to the bottom of the cube. Uh, to make this, it's very simple. We're just looking for a walkway so we can extend the bottom of this down by a couple of grass blocks or something like this. And then what I actually want to have for the interior of the cube, I want to use just standard glass and I want to create like a glass walkway coming all the way around the... Uh, actual center of the biome cube. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to look that good. It just wants to be a way to get up and down the biome cube in such a way that we don't really get in anybody's way or anything's way rather. So kind of like this, we can have a nice spiraling up um, layer of glass that takes us all the way up to the top here. And then this is going to be filled in uh, using ladders. We'll have ladders here uh, most of the way up. And then we'll have like a trap door up at the top like this. And inside this house, all we're going to have is a bed because we don't have much room for anything else. And if you like, we can even, you know what, we can even have a painting to make it look a bit homier, uh, if if you so wish. But yeah, there's not much going on in the inside of this house. Uh, we can even add like a torch or something as well. And if you want to make the torch look a little bit fancier, we could add like an item frame in it. And something that people are doing these days quite a bit, you could just add like a button to it as well, to the actual item frame. That's bad. Um, maybe like a stone brick block that's better okay so that's the top house complete by the way and this is also a walkway which we will use to can we come down here this is a walkway that we'll also use to traverse up and down the biome cube so just have it spiral down like this it'll work very nicely in the center of the biome cube, I did something a bit crazy. I, I basically, what I did was I took uh, glowstone and magma blocks, and I kind of made like a spiral shape using both of them. I found the very center of the cube, which is about, let me see, it'll be here, and then the very center of the cube would be... Da, 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 da. I think I've got it. That's actually just about the very center of the biome cube. And then I kind of like built this around it. I kind of started off with a glowstone block. And then I started placing like magma blocks surrounding it. Kind of like this. Kind of like you'd expect like a, I don't know, like something sciencey, like a nucleus or a molecule or whatever. Uh, a nucleus is actually the center of uh, center of something. So um, kind of like kind of like this. Um, it provides a little bit of light, and it also, it's, it's kind of cool because it looks as though it's really important to the cube. Um, it's a little bit small, but it's kind of cool because it gives the cube a core, kind of like the Earth has a core. So, um, I think that it might be cool to just add a little something like this to your biome cube. Um, actually, I think I did that the wrong way. We don't want to go that way, do we? We want to start from the bottom like this. Yeah, it kind of gives uh, the whole place a bit of a core. It looks kind of cool like this, and it... It doesn't get in uh, anybody's way that much. Um, we are going to have to alter the glass a little bit. In that the glass will now have to come a little bit further down. Um, 
So here, then here, here, then here, something like that would look fine and uh, shouldn't interfere with any of the actual like center part of this. You can make that bigger, you can make that smaller, that's just kind of an idea. You could even add a layer of glowstone around that to make it look really cool, but it's kind of like cool having a core to this. Uh, the only other things that I would suggest is of course um, adding stuff to the actual houses. So uh, to each one of the houses I'd add like regular house stuff. I'd, I'd make sure that there's like a bed in each house. I'd make sure that there's like a, a crafting table, a furnace. I'd add some um, chests and stuff to it. I'd really make them into tiny little cool houses. I mean, uh, it's the more to look at, the better. Like if you were to like destroy this block, like some blocks can actually be destroyed. You don't need every single block. You can add paintings and stuff to kind of like make it a little bit more homey. You can do um, you can do this pretty much everywhere. So if, like for every single home, um, I'm just going to have like a bed. I'm going to have like a a chest, and I'm going to try and like have a crafting table, like as the bare minimum. And it'd be nice if that we were able to have like a painting in in every single one of them, or maybe even not a painting but even like a, a torch that's kind of like been made to look nicer um, through various means so um, maybe like a, a torch here here something like that uh, even in the igloo although we have got to be aware not to melt the igloo but like we've got a bit more room here so we could place a bed we can place the crafting table we can place a furnace we can have double chest above we can have a double chest on this side we can have some oh painting behind the chest i didn't know that was possible uh we can have a painting here we can even have like another chest here here we can just you know make make the place look very very nice and functional like this and um, the same goes for this last one, just for the desert. And just, you know, like I said, just the more detail you can add to these houses, the better, honestly. If in, so, in some places, you're not really going to be able to add that much. You won't, you won't be able to add very much whatsoever. But where you can, just place, you know, just place the nice, just place stuff to make it look a little bit more homey everywhere. Um, even do little weird things like that. That actually makes a bit of a difference. And we can even add a painting on the wall above the bed that looks perfectly fine we also have to create walkways coming down from every single biome so to get to the biomes we need to be able to get up there we're going to need some walkways and i would suggest color coding them so like for instance i'll, I'll give you an example this is the snow biome make a walkway that is made out of like light blue clay something like that like, just make it out of light blue clay, a little walkway. Um, this is the desert biome. Make it out of, like, yellow hardened clay. You guys uh, kind of get the picture here, I'm sure. Like, just make it out of out of a clay that is kind of, like, suitable to the biome. And we have uh, the never here, so, like, a red hardened clay would be good. I'm going to make it so that uh, this is a little bit harder to get up to and it doesn't uh, obscure anywhere else. And we even have this area. I'm going to be using um, lime hardened clay for this one. Uh, we even have this area as well. So we can have this filled in with um, lime hardened clay. We can use lime hardened clay here instead of uh, anything else. Maybe our. No, nah, no, nah, that's. It's fine here. It's fine here, actually. So something like that actually looks quite good. And then, as you like, you don't have to do this at all, but you could, like, grab some glass of different colours and stuff, and, like, for the, uh, uh, for the igloo, you might want to, like, place a little bit of glass on the front of the igloo to kind of, like, keep it nice and private. Uh, you might want to do the similar sort of thing here for the desert biome, and you can, um, you can do that in, uh, kind of, like, very sparingly. You might find that in a lot of the cases, you'll be able to destroy some blocks that you, uh, you didn't think that you could destroy, that aren't part of the structure of the outside of the biome. So you could destroy these, for instance. And um, on this is going to be a good one, like uh, for the tree, like you're going to find that there's a lot of blocks that uh, you really didn't need that much. So I'm just going to destroy a couple. Um, I'm just going to kind of go looking for them, but you'll be able to find that there's loads of blocks that we can just replace later if we need to, and we can kind of like create a cool effect using... Uh, using our glass, and we can kind of... Oh, no, it, it feels kind of like RPG, if, if that makes sense. It kind of... It feels kind of cool 
to be able to take a sneak peek inside of each in particular biome, if, if that makes sense. Like, it's, it's kind of cool like this. And then the Never Fortress, I think that it's actually got a big enough... I'm going to use uh, orange glass. And then the Never Fortress, I think, has a big enough space uh, as it is, and it looks kind of cool like this. But, um, yeah, if you can, if you kind of customise the areas like this, it's, it's kind of cool to have them a bit open up. And, I, I mean, that's kind of everything, guys. I know this has been kind of like a long tutorial, but um, if we take a look at this from the outside, it'll look really cool. I mean, that looks absolutely awesome, or at least if I do say so myself. Um, to get up to it, obviously, all you have to do is you just have to swim up to the, uh, swim up through the watery center. We can access every single particular side of the biome cube. We can even come all the way up to the top. We have a core here. You can climb all of the way up the glass, up this ladder. You can access this room here. You can walk out onto the top of your cube if you wish. And you can even jump off it if you wanted to. Bloom. Everything is so accessible. It looks awesome. If you have one of these in your world, your friends will... I, I guarantee they'll be like, what is that thing? I want to see it. People, it, it's such a crazy, weird thing to have. I'm sure uh, you guys would love it. It doesn't take an hour to make. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to like the video. This is the end of the video. Like the video, please, if you have enjoyed it. It really helped me out. Honestly, no end. It would really, really, really help me out. Uh, if you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you subscribe, click the little bell next to the subscription button. And please do suggest something else that you'd like to see on the channel. Would you like to see a particular style of house? Would you like to see a cartoon hat let me know what you want to see on the channel down there in the comment section and please do if you want to check out any more of the channel check out the card system in the description below because as you might be able to see we do all sorts of stuff on this channel we're not limited to just biome cubes and like survival houses and stuff we do like cartoon related builds movie related builds we do more more cartoon stuff would i'm actually putting a collection of cartoon houses together uh we even have some awesome survival houses modern re like modern fantasy survival suburban all sorts of random stuff we have around here guys just check out the channel you won't regret it thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one